Welcome to Key Points for March. This month, our view on a further deterioration in the economic data, uh, the shift towards a more supportive central bank environment, and of course, as usual, what we make of this from a financial market perspective. So turning to our first point, unfortunately, economic data on a global basis have really showed further deterioration, most notably, again, in the industrial and manufacturing sectors, which is a real concern. Latest numbers shows that the purchasing managers indicators are again slowing, and in some regions we've actually moved into a contractionary territory for the manufacturing component at least. Leading indicators within that, uh, the new orders for example in Germany and Japan have plunged into contractionary territory, which of course is a concern for growth uh, going forward. Even in terms of the trade, we're seeing global trade showing very little signs of a pickup and the latest data from Singapore and Thailand confirm further weakness there as well. Now, of course, the good news is that we are seeing the can being kicked down the road in terms of the tariffs, much as we in the market, frankly, had expected. But we'll need to see further progress in that, I think, if the trade environment is to improve and confidence is to lift. Outside manufacturing, the service sectors are doing better. Uh, we are seeing growth coming through there. And indeed, consumer sentiment is also picking up in parts of Europe, including uh, uh, France, which, of course, is a good thing there, too. But broadly speaking, we're not really seeing that kind of pickup or stabilization in global economic numbers that we have been hoping for yet, but we do think it's coming. China is continuing to stimulate and aggregate lending is picking up. Hopefully that will lift some of these indicators as we get into the spring and summer months. Now, turning to our second point, uh, financial markets have been buoyed by what appears certainly to be a more supportive monetary policy environment. We're not expecting the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates in March like everybody else. They seem to be uh, pausing, they're being patient here given the economic numbers that we've seen and the fact that inflation is still contained. Um, and that's allowing other central banks around the world to take a more cautious approach. You'll remember that the nine rate hikes that we've seen by the Fed so far, the four last year, encouraged about half of the central banks that we followed to be tightening policy in 2008. Well, the good news now is that has shifted and we've seen some easing back and indeed in the case of India, they've actually cut rates going forward. So this is certainly an important dynamic that we're seeing that central banks are being pragmatic and are prepared to pause given that inflation, frankly, is still relatively weak. So what does all this mean for financial markets? Clearly, investors are taking this uh, more dovish sentiment warmly. Uh, markets, uh, risk assets, equities and credit have really completed a V-shaped recovery from the declines that we saw in November and December last year. And they're getting up towards more resistance levels, which we think will require further tangible good news to push them above that. Certainly a pause would be welcome to allow investors to digest the moves that we've seen, but I think the environment still remains fairly favourable for equities as we go through into the summer months. But a pause or a pullback should at least be expected from current levels. Remember our full uh, comments on our investment insights for March are available on zurich.com forward slash MSME.